ATPL Today. I'm your host, Michael Karen, and I'll be bringing you the ATPL news, scores, and highlights from this week's matches, as well as what's on deck for today. Yesterday at Mills Modern Social, it was the Q-Buds who extended their winning streak to three matches and is now in first place as they defeated the Real Deal 83-66. Garnett Snow extended his winning streak to five games with his thir first 30 of the season. Chris Jones and Jose Cardenas teamed up with a pair of 30s to boost the girthy Sirs to an 87-42 win. Over thought we were going swimming as they moved up from 6th to 2nd place. Bernardo Garcia led the Mexicans to a 74-70 victory with his first 30 of the season and extends his winning streak to 5 as they move into 3rd place. Yo Garcia! Nice 30! <laughs> Eric Culpepper scored 27 to lead the Killer Bees to an 80-73 upset of the Black Shirts. The loss dropped the Shirts from 1st to 4th despite getting a 30 out of Chad Hibbard. Dan Peterson picked up a 30 as queued up defeated Rackless 80-62. The win moves them from 9th to 5th in the standings. And we uh, also welcome Anthony Begay from Flagstaff down to our Tempe location. He's moving down to Phoenix now, so welcome, Anthony. He played on Rackless this week. Going for three, defeated RMR Sticks, 90-48, to as Laura Boothroyd hit an eight-ball break, and Harold Lyons did a break-and-run in the victory. Ryan Levengood had a break-and-run in the loss for the Sticks. Lisa Bradford was screaming for peaches as she scored 23 to lead Screaming for Peaches to an 80-72 win over Trash Squared to pull them out of the basement into 12th overall. And after three weeks, Ryan Fedora is in the lead with a 1.960 OPR for the Black Shirts. Congratulations, sir. Leader of the division. Player of the Week honors this week go to a multitude of players. We had a tie in the uh, men's category. Bruce Miller of the A-Team, Chris Jones of the Girthy Sirs, and Eric Menard of Scratch This. You all scored a 30 and allowed just 7 for a difference of 23. You all uh, share in the Player of the Week honors. Congratulations, gentlemen. And for the ladies, Lou Smith of the Desert Rats uh, holds on for the ladies and uh, with her 30-14 to 14 run that she did on Thursday over at Mills. Congratulations, Lou. You are the Female Player of the Week this week. Number one player heading into week four is currently Christopher Navis of You Just Got T-Boned. He's got a 6-0 record, 62 points, and a 2.952 PR. He's your number one rated player this week, ladies and gentlemen. Number one female in the league, Ramona Seba of the Scorpions. She's got an 8-1 record, 80 points, and a 1.342 PR. Good job. Good job, Ramona. Congratulations. Number one team heading into week four is Beer Me. From the Wednesday Mills Modern Social in-house, they're 3-0 with 252 points. But I've just been informed that they have a bye this week because they're going to Janet Jackson. So, first place is going to change. Who is going to be the leader? <clears throat> Let's see. Tonight, the Prescott Valley Division begins play with 13 teams. We are looking for one more team. Michael Vermillo is looking for a teammate, uh, looking for two teammates in Prescott on Monday if, he, if anybody wants to play. And uh, also, we are looking for two players on Monday in Flagstaff. We do have one player that needs a team, and uh, he needs two players to complete that team so that you guys you can get started tonight in Prescott or in Flagstaff. Also, we have another tournament coming up in two weeks. Uh, that's going to be on Saturday, June 17th at Mills Modern Social. This is going to be a singles tournament. It's our, known as our third Saturday tournament. This is something new we're doing. Every third Saturday of the month, we will be doing this tournament. It is open singles, ladies and gentlemen, open to anybody. You do not have to play in the league for this. You can be anybody anywhere. But if you are not in the AZPL, you must have at least 200 games in Fargo so we know who you are. Uh, this, will, this event will have multi-game races anywhere from a race to two all the way up to a race to nine. Uh, so those are the races, ladies and gentlemen. Entry is equal to your rating. There is also a $5 green fee and a $5 TD fee. Doors open uh, to warm up at 11 a.m. Tournament starts at noon. Be there, be square. That is on Saturday, June 17th. It's going to be hot outside. Come on inside to Mills Modern Social. Enjoy the beautiful cool AC and the cold beer. 
That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. You all have a wonderful day. Have a happy Monday. Stay classy, Arizona. We'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.